Even when everything goes wrong, you're committed 100% to doing it. Uh, that's serious love. You know, that woman was not going to let anything get in her way. And that's difficult to, uh, to keep alive. Uh, we often have a, enjoy relationships when everyone likes the same things and it's uh, fun to go to the movies or just to hang out together. Uh, but unfortunately, real life always kicks in and there are serious times and that's when our love is tested. And, and many times, especially if you stay together your entire life, there will be times where you need to have the determination of that, that woman applicant who, who really, uh, despite whatever the obstacles are, you're committed, you're going to get the job done. You know, there were uh, two uh, people in California in 1994 who got engaged, Randy Curley and Victoria Ingram. And uh, after they got engaged, uh, a little while later, Randy uh, got some bad news. Uh, Randy had been diabetic since he was a child, and, uh, and after they got engaged, uh, the doctor told Randy that his kidneys had died and, uh, because of the diabetes. And he would need to have a transplant or he would die, perhaps you know, before the wedding day. And uh, Randy thought, you know, this is a serious thing. I need to have my fiance hear what the doctor has to say, and brought her into the doctor's room too. And they explained it that every year there are uh, 36,000 people who need kidney transplants in America, but there are only 4,000 kidneys available for those 36,000. And you know, the odds are not very good that your, uh, you know, husband-to-be would get one. Uh, and they had, uh, usually they, they match all the family, try family members first because they match, you know, the greatest chance of having one. Uh, but they had already done that and none of his family uh, was a close enough match to donate a kidney to him. Well, Victoria said, well, why don't you test me then? just thinking it could be a random thing and, and the doctor did and the phone rang and Randy's doctor reported that miracle of miracles, her kidney, blood type or whatever matched his and she could have donated a kidney to him. And so they made plans to be married on October 11th, 1994 and the next day have the transplant surgery side by side in the hospital. Uh, at the last minute, Victoria had a little health problem, so uh, it didn't happen exactly how they planned. But a month later, after their marriage, the two went forward and, and the bride actually saved the husband's life by donating her kidney to him. A lot of times our marriages need to have that kind of uh, uh, commitment and, and uh, I don't know what to call it, inner transplantation, if you will, uh, where uh, each person doesn't just uh, be two individuals stand, standing side by side and having to check off the same boxes on, you know, eHarmony so you uh, correspond to each other. But uh, real unity, you know, requires that sort of uh, giving of a kidney, giving of a heart uh, to your spouse. Uh, a depth of commitment that uh, First Peter uh, tried to challenge the people of, who read his letter uh, about the love a husband and a wife should have. You know, he, he said, uh, usually at weddings, uh, the most common scripture that we read is always, uh, you know, 1 Corinthians 13, that uh, if we don't have, you know, uh, love, uh, our um, things are noisy gongs and clanging cymbals and, you know, all about beauty. Uh, but this passage from 1 Peter is, is very serious about not letting your uh, relationship just being an outward thing, uh, but uh, having, uh, let it be the hidden 
person of the heart with the imperishable jewel of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God's sight is very precious. What a, what a beautiful thing to concentrate on, on the depth of your soul for each other. Um, one of the uh, things that Peter says uh, uh, that you shouldn't have at a wedding is braiding of hair. I won't check if anyone's braided hair. I, I don't know why, uh, other than perhaps that was considered like extravagant. Uh, but often uh, when we see braided hair, at least men think it's like two strands woven together. But, uh, you know, a braided hair, I think, has at least three strands. Because if you just wrap, you know, two strings together, it'll fall apart easily. But the third strand holds the other two together. And in our relationship of marriage, hopefully that third strand is God. And that holds both of you together as one, one string, one row, or as we'll do with the one candle uh, in a few minutes. I know that's kind of a serious uh, sermon to give on a day like today, but, uh, but we will have plenty of joy and there will be lots of celebration and you usually don't have to worry about the good times. Uh, and uh, so it is uh, today a, a great time to remember the, the depth and the integrity of love that uh, is really, as First Peter says, is really the precious jewel that really is what will sustain you and make the relationship uh, really uh, an enjoyable, growing thing together with God. Let's pray. Oh God, uh, we thank you for the circumstances that have been that brought Ben and Tarn together. Uh, we thank you for all those uh, things, uh, external signs that that you yourself planted to uh, signal to them that they were meant for each other. But today we look, as you look, with our inner eye, our spiritual eye, looking at their hearts, and ask that you would bring their hearts together, and that you would be the rope that holds the two together today and forever. Oh God, uh, over time, as they are married years and years and years, the outer form of the rope will change, uh, hopefully getting more beautiful with the years. But uh, always make the inner center of the rope uh, strong and a precious pearl to them. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, now we get to the, the vows. So then, repeat after me. I then take you time. I then take you time to be my wife. To be my wife. And I do promise. And I do promise before God and our family and friends. Before God and our families and friends. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and sorrow, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live, as long as we both shall live. Tarn, repeat after me. I, Tarn, take you, Ben. I, Tarn, take you, Ben. To be my husband. To be my husband. And I do promise. And I do promise. Before God. Before God. And our families and friends. And our family and friends. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. What token do you bring as a sign of your faith? In token and pledge, in 
token and pledge of our constant faith, of our constant faith and abiding love. And abiding love. This ring I gave you. This ring I gave you. In token and in pledge. In token and in pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love.
decided to take pictures here, so you guys are just free, uh, free to be seated.